Rider. Orbiting Gadara. Tracking a remnant architect. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city. I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Settlers on Kadara are suffering from a bacterial infection. They need Angaran antibiotics to fight it. A medic in the city should be able to help. Got it. They'll have that medicine in no time. Elodin's water purifier can't keep up with demand. They're requesting one of those Angaran ionic filters. There are engineers who work in the aqueducts here. I'll bet they have what we need. On it. One filter coming up.
Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Voneron. A Voneron? That's very... I don't know what. Ah, linguistics, not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Can you imagine venturing into space only to find more of your own people? When we discovered the first relay, what if instead of Jurians? We'd found humans. Gives me chills just thinking about it. Pathfinder, analysis reveals this plant to be fruit-bearing. Can we eat it? Unknown. If we find more samples, I can transmit the data to Dr. Tapero for testing. Ven? Thought you'd be in a resistance holding cell. That was Ephra's plan. He wanted to throw me down a hole once he got his precious answers. The most shy convinced him to release me here. I volunteer and they let me see sunlight. They didn't expect the most shy to be in your corner. Figures should be forgiving. All part of her image. The most shy keeps her high ground, and I'm the traitor who gets a second chance. She didn't have to offer you mercy. You certainly don't deserve it. Think I don't know that? I should get back to work. They're not paying me to stand around. Oh, that's right. They're not paying me at all. Question, 
You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... Yes, I do. Need some? Hey, Alexi, I tracked down some samples of the Angaran antiseptic you were talking about. The Angaran antiseptic? Oh, Zumar. That's the name, isn't it? Something like that. Can't wait to test its applications. Thank you very much, Petra. Anything for the woman who keeps us healthy. Welcome. Missing something crucial. I'll probably have it. The visitor showed great interest in trade. No trouble, I see. Good.
Do you work on water filtration here? I designed the system for it. Can you sell me an ionic filter? My people need it on Elodin. If they're tough enough for Elodin, they deserve help. Here. Nexus Ambassador Riala appears to be settling nicely into her office. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I know what it's like. Jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. How many of our people have they let into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. He 
Ambassador's messages are overflowing again. Put a layer of security between yourself and danger. You're one of Ambassador Rial's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm, we'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. Ryder, they've got amazing Remtech research going on here. I love seeing our Milky Way peeps mingling with the Angara. It's early in our interspecies relationship, but I hope we can build on the momentum. Any one of a million things could happen, and whoops, the neighbors hate us. So don't go joyriding with the Nomad, huh? Obey the street signs. <laughs> You're doing a great job, really. Keep up the good work. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? We'll take every precaution, but entering an alien environment is always a risk. I appreciate your honesty, and so will my family. I'll convince them to let me go. Thank you.
Pavoa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. Is it normal for someone as young as you to be in charge? I'm no younger than you. And you're a Pathfinder. I kinda inherited the job. So did I. I was apprenticed to the former curator. It was my job to bring him artifacts from other worlds. When he retired, I sort of fell into his position. Do you miss relic hunting? Some days, but mostly I'm happy to spend more time with each piece. Have you always been into history? Oh yes. When I was young, I would dig up shells and pretend they were ancient armor pieces. I've always had a big imagination. With only 14 siblings, I got lonely sometimes. 14? That's insane. Why? How many do you have? Just the one. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? I picked this up. Any idea what it might be? How in the skies did you find an Angaran star map? One that still works, even? It must be pre-scourge. If we analyze it, we can learn where our people traveled before the Dark Age. Aren't star maps usually bigger? An Angaran star map isn't used for navigation. It acts as a log of where its owner traveled. This one's data is locked, but Aelin can decrypt it for me. Is this Angaran? I found it on one of your homeworlds. Sun above. It's an ancient Ravan, a musical instrument. It uses Angara's body energy to produce music. We have them now, but nothing is beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Art, music, stories, it's all gone. You're already rebuilding. Look at Aya. We have a long way to go. In any case, relics like this help us. You've given me more to study than I ever expected. I've got a lot of work ahead. Thank you for your help, Pathfinder. I'll let you know if I discover anything. I found a device Fen was using to communicate with the Archon. I think we can use it to triangulate that Ket flagship's nav point. All you have to do now is board it, steal the Meridian artifact, and escape in one piece. Well, when you put it like that, it doesn't sound so impossible. Don't make light. You're venturing to a place of horrors you cannot imagine. No one has attempted anything like this before. For all our sakes, you must succeed. Now it's my turn. Thank you for freeing Ven to Rafat Kadara. I'm told you saved him from execution. I know you wanted to question him. Did you learn anything? Enough to understand his motives. He lost his way. But I have hopes he'll find it again. Ephra wanted to punish him. I suggested Ven help tend Aya's gardens. He spent too long surrounded by death. He needs to reconnect with life. My translator doesn't know what to do with your title, Moshai. Because it isn't a title. It's a reference. People from mythological times, before the Scourge. Legends say we once had many Moshai. Master inventors of unfailing wisdom, guided by boundless compassion. That's a lot to live up to. It's nonsense. Don't remember who first called me Moshai, but I do recall telling them to shut up. To my regret, the name stuck. I've minded less lately. Being the Moshai has its uses. Any ideas on how we stop the Ket for good? The real question is, how do we define victory over them? Complete eradication? Unlikely, costly, and morally dubious. Drive them away? How? What stops them from returning? Peaceful coexistence doesn't seem to be an option. 
There's much we still don't know. The Ket are not a simple problem. We can't reduce them to a simple solution. When the Ket are gone, if we fix all these worlds, what do the Angara want? Depends who you ask. We're individuals. Paran will continue spreading hope and optimism. I don't know what Ephra will do without an enemy to fight. Retirement won't suit him. As for me, maybe I'll just fade away. That's what people do when they're no longer needed, right? <laughs> Thank you, Moshai. Ishare. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? He's off. I'm here to help. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How'd he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters, see if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. Ryder, I took a look at the plants you sent. Good news, they're edible. So we can grow them on the Nexus? Not just these. If the genetic makeup is similar, most of the food on Aya could be edible. But I need to be sure. Get a sample of fruit from the market. Ryder. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? Can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I came to this galaxy with my family. I lost my father on the day I arrived. But you still carry on his legacy. He knew that in the end. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. 
I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. You're relaxed here. There's a sparkle in your eye. I am. Thank you. It's nice of you to notice. You're interesting. I like to notice. you were coming. I prepared a date pattern our laws regarding war. Learn them. Routine variant will place them. Oh, six and a half is too unstable. But we had a food in two days. Had ammo in three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kept, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kept outpost, but I don't know. Give your team a chance to pull it off. We fought best when the odds are against us. Maybe you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. My contact on Kadara Port tells me there's been a change of leadership. One of ours, Kima Dorgan, took over, and you helped her. Sloan Kelly was dangerous, and Kadara Port belongs to the Angara. Keep this up and I'll have to believe your good intentions. What do you need? What do you think of your governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ked aren't a conventional enemy. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power. Same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. There's no official Angaran military, just the Resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket mostly. The rest fell to... Internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. 
I had to make the resistance real. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not Resistance? I a police. Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the Resistance will handle it. That's up to the Governor, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Good. I detect the infrared dye Silvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me? Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. I believe you, and I'm sorry for your loss. Between us, that botanist is kind of a jerk. He didn't fear my anger. I respect that. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand. Nothing is free for us. It took humanity eight years to get a Citadel Embassy back home. Pretty impressive to get one here so fast. All it took was handling some remnant. It'll take more to keep this partnership going. Ambassador Riala will handle the Embassy. Let's us you focus on... Effort. Everything else. Yeah. Inventory's there. Go on and look. No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. A slight ringing in your ears. There's nothing to worry about. 
Very reassuring. My people on Kadar are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? You're not supposed to be here. Rorik sent me to find you. He wanted me to give you this cryo bracelet. Rorik? I... I don't want it. Take it away. I want nothing to do with Rorik. With any of you. You've been through a lot, haven't you? You wouldn't want to hear about it. Try me. I was dumped by scavengers. Outsiders who left me for dead. I thought I could come to Aya and feel safe with my people. Forget what happened. And now you're here. Seems like no matter where I go, I can't escape outsiders. All of you need to just go away and leave me alone. I thought Aya wouldn't take anyone from Kadara. They don't. I told them what happened and they welcomed me. Ephra took me in. He says I'm a fighter. Resistance material. I spent so long wanting more than what Angara Worlds could give me. I was wrong. You were jumped by scavengers? On Elidan. They said they had salvage to sell. I was stupid enough to follow them. Once we were alone, they attacked. Left me for dead. Took my ship and flew off world. How did you get back? I walked. Three hours on the dunes with a few broken ribs. Rode back to Kadara with another salvager. You can't lose faith. Some of those outsiders care about you. Like who? Rorik, for one. He sent me to find you, didn't he? You went to a lot of trouble for someone you didn't know. Why? You ran into the worst of us, but you can't judge us all by their actions. That sounds like something Rorik might say. Can I see that bracelet again? He actually made it. He said you can use it to visit him again. It... it'll take me some time, but I think I can do that. I know Rorik. He'd blame himself if he knew what happened. It would be better if he didn't know the truth. It's your choice, but think about it. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. Some of us are biotic. It's similar, kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angar and injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. I'll get moving. Ishari.
Research has been going well. We're close to a breakthrough on Elmok hybrids. That's incredible. Your work is so important. It's not like I risk my life every day fighting Ket. I just aim and shoot. Doesn't take much skill. You, you keep our people fed and alive every day. Love of mine, what you do is amazing. I die, our species goes on just fine. But you, we can't afford to lose you. If you died, I wouldn't go on just fine. I wouldn't be fine at all. Real change in tone after that care facility. Half the Angara are thankful, half are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Cora for some reason. Pathfinder. Welcome to the Tavatan. Feel free to order a drink, or if you're hungry, we have nutrient paste. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we grow goes straight into processing. We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. How do you stretch your food that far? Oh, it's complicated. Hard to explain without going into lengthy detail. But I'd be happy to send some to your ship, along with my process notes. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. I'd like a drink. What does Tavitan mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location, like this, it's more... a place you could bring someone home to. What if you need to meet your Tavitan at the Tavitan? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has its quirks. Don't get me started. That's all for now. We'll come back anytime. Indulge in a little luxury. Paripo fresh from... Something I can do for you? Can I get a few of those fruits for the Tempest? More than one? You Pathfinders are richer than I thought. What do you mean? You really are new to Helios. You won't Look at it this way. Handed. This Paripo feeds one. Or we can break it down into nutrient paste and feed twenty. Raw fruit is rare because it's excessive. A luxury. Better to make the most out of it, right? I have samples from Rowan. We're weighing options. It. You don't know. Oh? See, I'm learning. In that case, I'll send a few fruits to your ship. A gift. I'll get moving. Invest in your personal protection. Shield yourself. You heard. They rescued her.
Pathfinder. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angara are selling their slots to come here so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. We could let Angara who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Ambassador Rialis said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. Pathfinder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer, but I won't be happy as just an observer. I want need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? If you put in a request, someone will get back to you. And if they refuse? <sighs> we'll have to think about it. Thank you, Pathfinder. Ryder, I analyzed all the food samples you sent. You're good to go. Everything is safe. You sure? Liam already ate the Perapo. And he's not dead. Good enough for me. I passed my data along to the Nexus. Congratulations, Ryder. We have food. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. More of your outposts need help, if you have time. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. A solar amplifier would give them a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. I'll make sure they know who to thank. I managed to find an ionic filter for Elodin. Make sure they get it. I'll get this delivered right away. They'll be relieved to have enough water. Pathfinder? 
You work on the solar panels. Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. 